Hey everyone, welcome into not my freckle love office. As you can tell, I'm not in my regular office today. I'm actually visiting my son and I'm filming from his bathroom. So it's a, the lighting's not too bad in here, but it's a little bit different. Um, I've had a lot of requests lately for an eye tutorial. So I'm going to get right on that. Now, if you've never joined me before, um, I'm Martha Barnett, better known as Freckle Love. And this is my channel. If you enjoyed today's video, I hope you will give it a like and subscribe and join me the next time I go live with a tutorial. I'm gonna start with an eye pencil. Um, this is um, an eye pencil, not an eyeliner. This is one that you can sharpen. It's from Unique and the color is called Prevalent. Um, and it's sort of a, hmm, I'd call it a maroon or burgundy color. And I'm gonna use that just to line under my lower lashes. And notice I'm not gonna go too close to my inner eye, to the corner of my inner eye, because I think that makes my eyes look smaller. I think it draws them in and I want them to go um, out. So I'm only gonna go about two thirds of the way, maybe three quarters of the way, underneath and then towards my outer eye. And I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna line just the littlest bit right here on my outer eye, on my upper lid, and give it just a little, not a cat eye, just a mm, tiny kitten eye, we'll call it. So I'm just gonna go part way in, not all the way into my um, corner of my inner eye because like I said, I think that makes them actually look smaller. And I'm using this color rather than a black or even a brown because I think those darker colors tend to age women of my age. I think it tends to make us look older and I think it tends to draw attention to the wrinkles and the bags um, and the crepiness of the eyelids. When you use a really dark, harsh color, I think it looks, uh, it, it makes you look older rather than younger, which is what we're going for. So I'm using a lighter color. Now I'm gonna be using liquid eyeshadows today rather than a powder. I don't need a primer because these have primer in them. I'm using two shades of liquid eyeshadow from Unique. Um, the lighter one is business-like. This is a super matte um, light pink color. And believe it or not, even though it's pink, it's a perfect neutral for any shades, um, any colors that you're wearing. It's kind of like your blush. It's neutral because it matches your skin tone. Um, so you don't need to worry about it clashing with anything that you're wearing. The other color I'm gonna use is called Decisive. And this one's a little bit more of a grayish purple. And you're gonna see how I use that on just the outer corners of my eye. So I'm gonna start with Business Like, and that's gonna go all over the lid on both sides. About ready to go? Yep. And then I'm gonna grab a nice big fluffy brush. Let's see here. Ah, here we go. And I'm gonna use that to buff that color in and blend it out, clear up to my eyebrow, which I've already done my brows. Yes, I did add color to them, mostly because I have a lot of gray and white hairs at this age. Not that I need to make my brows look any fuller for sure, but basically because at my age I have a lot of grays and whites. All right, now let's gra grab that decisive color. And you can see on this one, I'm only going to put it right here on the outer edge of my eye, sort of like a sideways V. Got a little bit in my eye. Ooh, that burned. Okay, and then I'm gonna take a um, blending brush. This is a crease brush. It's a little bit um, smaller than the blending brush. And I'm gonna use that to buff in that second color right there on the outer corner. Let's 
All right, and then I'm gonna go back and use that big blending brush one more time. Just because I don't want any harsh lines right there on the outside of my eye. In fact, I got a little too crazy on that side. I'm gonna buff a little bit of that off. There we go. All right. Now, onto eyelash primer. If you have not tried an eyelash primer, oh my goodness, game changer. This lash primer not only preps your eyes for the mascara, it'll help you get a thicker, fuller, more dramatic look. But in addition to that, it also conditions your lashes. Just think about it, your lashes are hair. And so this conditions them as it um, sits on there. It helps keep them very soft and um, flexible so they don't get brittle, they don't get hard. Um, and it helps them curl upwards when you apply your mascara. And last, I'm gonna put on the 4D mascara. And I wanna talk just a minute about this brush because it is two-sided. If I twist it around, it's hard to see on camera but it is not the same all the way around. One side has shorter bristles and one side has longer, thicker bristles. If you notice this side, they're shorter and they're farther apart. This side, they're longer and they're closer together. And so what you do is when you apply your mascara, you're gonna go up one way, apply a coat, and then twist that brush over and go through again. Or if you're really talented, you could roll it as you go. I'm not that talented. So I'm gonna apply one coat, twist my brush over, go through it again. Now normally at this stage, I would go ahead and apply my lipstick or finish up um, anything on my face, a little highlighter, a little setting powder or whatever. Give it a minute and then I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna put in a second coat. And again, I'm gonna go through one way, twist that brush around, go through it again. So you can see with just two colors, I've created a, a nice, neutral, everyday kind of look. This is great for um, today. My son and I are just running some errands. We'll probably go out to lunch. Do a little shopping today. And then I'm gonna go through and hit my lower lashes. So it's perfect for today, but it would be great for the office as well. Nothing you know, super dramatic, nothing super dark. Just a nice neutral daytime look. And there we go. And that is our finished eye look. So if you have any questions, please pop them down in the comments below. In the comments, I will list, or in the description down below, I will list the products that I used and the colors that I used in case you need that information. And I'll also put a link to my website in case you wanna look at those products up close um, and get any more information about them. And if there's anything I can help you with, please let me know. Thanks for joining me. I appreciate it. See you later. Bye-bye.